Hey, it's Anfa, and today we're gonna make a full bridge rectifier using open source audio plugins. So here I have Carla, which is an open source non-linear plugin host. And to see what we're doing, first we need a plugin that will show us the signal or the virtual voltage that we're going to be creating and transforming. So let's use a scope, simple scope, stereo will do. All right, let's now open the user interface and this is the scope. Mm, I'm gonna make it stay on top. Now what we need is an oscillator because we want to simulate turning alternating current into direct current. So we need an oscillator, oscillator. I like this LSP oscillator and uh, we can open its interface too. And by default, it produces a sine wave at 440 Hertz. We want to change this to 50 Hertz, just like the power lines. Okay, it's almost 50 Hertz. I think I can actually use the generic parameter list to, yeah, I'm gonna type here 50. Okay, we have 50 Hertz, perfect. Let's verify that. Yes, it's 50 Hertz. Okay, now we need to connect the two so we can see this wave on the oscilloscope. I'm gonna make this one stay on top too. So we need to go to the patch bay Actually, I'm going to move them away for a while because we need to find the newly created plugins. Oh, here is our oscillator. Now, where is the... Now, there's the scope. Great. Great scope. All right, so let's connect output of the oscillator to the oscilloscope. And you can see here is our signal. I'm gonna maybe make the window larger so you can see it better. Now it's jumping around so I can turn on the continuous trigger. So that's gonna detect when the signal is rising and it's going to snap it up. I'm gonna also change the, lower the amplitude a little bit so it's not clipping. And it crashed. Okay, so here we have our alternating current and we want to produce direct current below. So how do we do this? Well, there's a plugin called Diode Processor. Let's add it in. It's created by Steve Harris. And what this plugin does is simulates a diode circuit. So let's find this plugin. I think there it is. So Let's connect output of our oscillator to the diode processor and output of the diode processor to the oscilloscope. And you see right now it's not doing anything, but if we open up the user interface of that diode processor plugin, you can see we can change some things. And there is, here's a mode switch. So the mode is by default none. We can go to one for half wave. So let's set a value of one. And you can see we have what a diode would do, which is a single diode puny rectifier. <laughs> so this is already a DC, uh, okay, it's not DC, but it's kinda sorta uh, approximating DC. Um, but we can do better. We can go for full wave, which means it's going to act as a full bridge rectifier, which not only clips the waveform to only leave the positive voltage, but also inverts the negative wave part of the waveform and flips it up. So all of the in voltage is now positive voltage. So this is, this is better because this is more efficient, right? We're not wasting half of the energy. We're using all of it. But this doesn't look really like direct, direct current. It's still very bouncy. It's oscillating, right? So what we need is a filter. And what is a filter if not just a capacitor and a resistor put together, right? So I'm going to add a filter. Uh, we need a low pass filter. And I like this Glame 
or GLAME low pass filter. It's I've tested it and it's really good for this purpose. And let's find it. Oh, there it is. All right, so now we have our diode processor and we want to put the output of that through the low pass filter. So I'm going to send it here, disconnect this and connect it after the filter output. And right now it doesn't do anything. We have the same oscillating waveform as we had before. But now we go to the filter settings, go to parameters, and we, we see the cutoff frequency. It's currently at 2.6 kilohertz. Let's go down. And you can see we are slowly smoothing out the waveform. And if I go to the lowest possible value of 4.8 hertz, we're basically filtering out all the differences. And this is pretty much direct current. So if I zoom out, and I can disable the trigger, you can see that right now on the input of our oscillator, we have oscillating waves. And on the output, we have pretty stable direct current. And that's how you make a full bridge rectifier using open source audio plugins. Okay, so now I want to see what happens when I connect the rectified direct current to my speakers. And uh, we should see a movement of the diaphragm. It should move forward. And like with tweaking the volume, I should be able to just move the diaphragm front and back, just like an actuator. So I don't need these headphones right now. So uh, let me turn on the speakers. <laughs> Okay. All right, let's do this. Let's see. Okay. Turn up the volume. Okay, it's, <laughs> it's moving. <laughs> wow, it works. Oh, sh f oh. I hope you found this useful or interesting or at least entertaining. Thanks for watching. I also want to thank all the people who support my work financially. If you, dear viewer, would like to join them, head over to patreon.com slash anfa or liberapay.com slash anfa, where you can give me a buck or two every month. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.